Welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I go about taking care of my pepper plants. Now, I did show you guys in a previous video on how I go about planting my pepper plants in containers. So, in today's video, basically, I'm going to show you guys how I upkeep them. So, right here is the pepper plants, you guys that we planted in containers and do you guys see they're doing absolutely great so as i walk this way i'm going to show you guys the other set of pepper plants and how they're doing so they are doing well so what i'm going to be doing is show you guys how i make sure that these pepper plants does not remain leggy or straggly I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I go about bushing them out get it in really full and lush and what I use to water them and take care of them and as well I'm going to show you guys how I go about tying them to the stakes so you guys I'm gonna to go to the greenhouse because I forgot to go ahead and grab my velcro tape <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that real fast so that I can go ahead and show you guys how I keep them, keep my peppers nice and sturdy. So, let's see here. Where did I do? Do, do. Okay, what did I do? Okay, right here. So, my Velcro, my Velcro tape. Well, it's not tape, it's just Velcro on a roll. And now I'm gonna show you guys the maintenance that I do. And it doesn't take much, you guys, to take care of your plants. It takes about, maybe for me, roughly 30 to 40 minutes to take care of them. And then after that, it's done. Um, so, and it's just basically keeping up with the watering. Okay, so right here is one of my pepper plants, right here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pruning my peppers, okay? So when you prune your peppers, you basically is topping off the head of the plant. So what I'm going to be doing is topping off the head of the plant. Okay, and what's going to happen when you do this? And see, I cut it, I trim it. Let's see if I can get you guys. So you guys see here, I'm about to trim the head off of this pepper plant. Okay, we're just taking the heads off. And what this is going to do is to get all of these leaves in between the joints to bush out. And that right there is going to cause this plant to get sturdier, okay? So I go ahead and remove The tips of the plant and so within a couple of weeks you're really gonna see this baby really big and bushy so that's how I go about doing this and I do this with all of them so I do add the bamboo steak to keep the plant nice and sturdy now because I do live in an area that is prone to getting hurricanes I like to make sure that my plants are secure. So what I'll do is take a piece of my Velcro, Velc side facing the plant, okay? And I go ahead and I loosely Velcro the plant to the stake, just like this. Then you guys, as far as me maintaining the plant, 
when it comes down to watering, what I do use. Now you guys, I definitely use Epsom salt. Epsom salt is a source of magnesium and I do this every two weeks, okay? I do two tablespoons in my two gallon pitcher. Basically is one tablespoon per gallon. And um, this will help with blossom end rot. So if you ever see your pepper or your tomato plants get a um, dark spot on the bottom, that is what is called blossom end rot. So this will help with preventing that, okay? But as well, you need to make sure that you water your plants very well so that your plant can absorb all that beautiful things, all the beautiful things that you put in the soil or what you're feeding the plant. So make sure that you water it in. So in this video, these two items is what I'm going to be using to go ahead and, and put two tablespoons of Epsom salt and two tablespoons of the fish fertilizer. This is a 511 and why I use this is because it's just enough nitrogen, it's not a lot. Um, so I do definitely use the 511. I use two tablespoons. And you guys, you wanna give this a stir to make sure that that Epsom salt is dissolved and as well, you want to make sure this fertilizer is mixed in as well too. And when you are watering, make sure that you are watering at the base of the plant. We want to keep as much disease down as possible.
right here is the Serrano chilies. These are the Serrano chilies. I did went ahead and planted up uh, two pimento peppers and a sweet banana. And I will be moving these three from this spot right here and two cayenne peppers right here. Right here is a jalapeno chili, jalapeno chili. Right here is a habanero. This is a habanero. Right there is a Hungarian wax. Hungarian wax, a jalapeno chili, a jalapeno chili, and cayenne longs. Okay, you guys, we're at the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Please don't forget to give the video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you guys will be notified when I do upload a video. And remember you guys, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye bye for now.